men are left standing. $200,000, one trophy and one title. It's all still to play for as we prepare for the final table at the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. This is the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. One celebrity game, 12 heats, two semi-finals, and now just one final game to play. $200,000 awaits the winner, with the trophy and title thrown in just for good measure. All the ingredients are there, as are the players, and what a lineup it is. Ian Fraser, David Rudling, Ian Cox, Ian Woodley, Ram Vaswani, and Anthony Harding. They all bring their chips from the semi-final, so with varying amounts, a huge challenge awaits them and one that only Jesse May and Roland DeWolf can unpick. This is what you put your boots on for when you get up in the morning, the final table. And Roland, uh, it's way up in the air, isn't it? Jesse, I'm really excited about today. Uh, the Party Poker World Open 3 final has, has brought together a fantastic lineup and uh, six players, any of whom can win. You've seen all of them. Let's hear your thoughts quickly on each one of them. Short stack, David Rudley. I think that he struggled his way into the final. He eats his way in and now he's suffering the consequences of being low stacked. But with a, a re revised structure, he has every chance and, and he has some experience uh, at final tables. He's not going to be thinking he's out of it. He needs a good start and an early double up. Got those four guys in the middle. Ian Fraser, Ian Cox, Ram Vaswani, and of course, Bookie Hardy. Yes, I mean, it's fantastically poised for the, all of those four. They're all going to be thinking they have a great chance. Ian Fraser, what can you say about this guy? In these formats, he's back at another final. I mean, uh, he's won two of these competitions. Uh, he, he's been playing excellently in his heats. He knows the, the, the format and he knows the uh, final table, how, how to win one. He's been over the line before. It's very important. I think he's going to have every chance today. But are they all chasing Ian Woodley? For me, he's been the player of the tournament, and that's why he's the chip leader. Ian Woodley was fantastic in his semi-final and fantastic in his heat. It's been a, it's been a flawless performance, and he'll go into it full of confidence and with the chip lead. It, it's uh, not. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's his to lose, but he's got a lot of chips and uh, he can really use them to good effect to get up. Uh, but then again, he will be looking over his shoulder at the crazy horse. It's two hundred thousand clams for first place. One of the six is going to take it. Let's see where they're sitting. I'm feeling really relaxed today actually, there's no pressure on me now, I'm short stack, I've got no expectations, um, anything better than sixth I guess is, is good for me today, so no pressure. You just want to be in the final, um, obviously the more chips you get, the chips are like uh, bullets to a gunfire, you know, um, if you're going into a gunfight with ten people and you only got two bullets you're in big trouble, so the more chips you got the easier it becomes, I mean I've got 133. Uh, which is enough to shoot these five with, so I'm all right, I'm really happy as it is. These six-seater tables shoot out suit me, and um, I've got a good record in these, so uh, I'm quite confident. The semi-final was pretty quiet for me. Um, obviously, it's great to be in the final, but um, I would have liked to have been in there with a few more chips, um, so I'm probably one of the lower stacks, but, you know, like I say, I'm just happy to be here. You know, things can turn around quite quickly. The heats were difficult, the semi was difficult, the final's not going to be any different, but I'm here to win it. I'm starting with um, good chips, but uh, it means nothing. When Once uh, a couple of people get knocked out, the people, if it's not me who's knocking them out, their, their chip stack rises, and when the blinds are big, it can change really quick, you know what I mean? I'm just, just play, it, play it as it comes. Tykes and Prams dream from their early days about becoming a world champion. And which of these six <laughs> players are but five steps away from realizing the answer, of course, all of them. This is the final table, and I'm lucky to be joined by Roland the Wolf. Roland, this final table worthy of a tough competition. Good afternoon, Jesse. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. It's going to be a fantastic final. There's six great players here, and I really, really 
I'm looking forward to this. It's uh, been a great, great competition. And now we're going to find out if Ian Fraser can do the treble. This is, of course, the first final table in the history of poker that's had three Ians on it. Uh, Ian, Ian, and Ian, and the two Ians at the top. How are the seat positions going to affect the chip counts? Well, Ian Fraser is in a bad position today because he has Ian Woodley raising before him and Ramvaswani asked him. He's sandwiched between the two. You really want to be on the left of the smaller stacks and on the right of the bigger stacks because you don't want a chip leader in front of you stealing your thunder every time. The yellows, blues and reds, they're 1K, 2K and 5K apiece. But the greens on the table, because there is more chips in play and they are worth 10,000 each. Total of 1.2 million on this table and of course we're going to play till one man has them all. Final six competing for the final $440,000 in prize money. It's $20,000 for a sixth, up to $50,000 for a third, but the big bucks in the top two spots. The runner-up taking $100,000 and a cool 200,000 simoleons for the winner plus the trophy and the title. There's going to be a lot of tension out there when you come, come to the start of the tournament the first hand people are very nervous this is a big final Roland uh, you've been hanging around with these guys of course before the heat who do you think is the most up for this I think <coughs> looking at it Ian Woodley has, has had the look of him all week of a man he just feels this is his big opportunity to take the title talking about players who seemed up for it Ian Cox is one of those who Rise. really seemed to seem to me focused uh, from this whole tournament he didn't have an easy go of it in his heat he came it's through there. Um, he certainly didn't have an easy go in the semi-final. Made probably the most dangerous play of that semi-final to get his chips. Plus. And um, now he's just run into a big hand. <laughs> I guess Woodley could call raise or fold, but you feel like he's been making the right decision so much this tournament. I do, and I like the raise here. Because this has, the this has the added value of looking like it's bullying, and it's not. And I think his raise on the first hand looked like that. Woodley's gone for the lime green, and it scares like yellow. 49. Or lime jello, in fact. 49, which is 37,000 more. Pretty much automatic for Cox to get out of the way, isn't it? He's, he has no option here. He's just posturing for the cameras. There's no option here but to fold. I think if he had a slightly better hand, then Ian Woodley might find himself uh, in a nice situation if he had an ace 10 suited. But here with ace 6, it's, uh, it's a nice hand to raise on the button with, but when you get uh, resistance, then. I just wonder, Roland, if what's going through Ian Cox's head is, geez, I'm going to have a real tough time on the button tonight. I've got a ram on my left. i got Woodley on my double left. When am I going to sort these guys out? Maybe he thinks he should sort it out early. Maybe he wants to say, I'm not going to be pushed around by the bigger stacks and impose himself on the game. Ian Woodley's really hoping that he gets some action here. <laughs> if Cox sticks a re-raise, then is Woodley going to start wondering... But this would be amazingly, amazingly gutsy. Fifty thousand for I think Ian Cox wants to win a title. What has Ian Woodley gone all in, or is he called? I'm not sure. He hasn't done anything yet. Don't worry, I'm all in. All in. All in. This is a, a staggering turn of events. From nowhere, Ian Cox found a re-raise, representing a much stronger hand than A6, and Ian Woodley has correctly sniffed it out as being weak and decided to go with Ace Jack, and Ian, Ian Cox has uh, got his apples all wrong. Roland, a raise, a re-raise, a re-re-raise, and then an all-in. You don't see that too often, not even in a multi-table tournament. You don't, and, and you definitely don't like to be the guy who's having to call all-in with all his chips with half his stack left out on the middle. The wrong move at the right, uh, the right move at the wrong time for Ian Cox. I mean, you have to take your hat off to Ian Cox and say, unlucky son, you may have run into a man who's got all the answers and the apples. And oh, half a million chips now for Ian Wowzers. <laughs> <laughs>
As uh, Ian Fraser just said, blimey, Wooder's got the money again. He's nearly got half the chips on the table. Seventy-two of the world's finest players descended on the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. Today they will check, bluff and raise their way towards that $200,000. Let's get back to our commentators Jesse May and Roland DeWolf. Big chip leader before play began and after nine hands, Woodley, Wooders, has gone even farther ahead. See, if you are Ram, you, you do want to avoid uh, the Undertaker in Woodley because, quite simply, He's the only guy who can not really knock you out. And uh, the other players are going to be scared. If you get in a pot with any of the other four, they're going to be scared because Ramstack is a big part of their holding. But in, in Woodley, it's a, a, a piece of shrapnel. The, 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 the fact of the matter is Woodley can play an all-in really? pot against any player, no. and uh. even losing it, he'll still either I'm be chip leader or very close. Sorry, I'll let you think. You get your stake in just right. I'm in the zone. Good raise. 15,000 is the raise. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's the right raise. What? Don't you want to get me with that? How much more is it? Another 10,000 to you. You got enough to call and no, pass? No, not quite. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Lee? Oh, Bullying again. No, you haven't. Sweetheart. Did I raise your big one when we were sitting the other way around? Uh, I think you did, yeah. Every no. time. I think you're fond. Did me loads of good, didn't it? <laughs> well, you shouldn't have to get the bus. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Either Those the lime bus green chips are the big ones, and what a tall yeah, drink yeah. of water Ian Woodley has in front of him in the 10,000 chip denominations. Yeah. Ian feels top of the world at the moment. We're on the screen now, look what we're going to do. Mr. Woodley. Sorry. So many Ians there, you, you say Ian and really helps nobody. <laughs> I mean, I think you'll agree. Right, well, it'd be very unlikely for a man named Ian not to win this you, tournament. You know what's coming. <laughs> Woodley uh, looking to go the route that Ian oh. Fraser has oh, before. Yeah, I, oh. Oh, can I get a walk? Could the bookie get a walk? Yeah, you've got an answer to you. No, no, no. no, no the only two cards I can pass. Oh, <coughs> no, you're in. You've got an answer. Paint, first one. Oh, yeah. Like you didn't make your move. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah, you would have been all in, I promise you. <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. I gamble, yeah. Okay. Next time I've got two four, I'll have a little fear. bit of play. I've been the boy here last week, I gambled with him. <laughs> He's just a boy. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Dave's a man, that's right. And he knows Dave Clark. Yeah, I've got a I mean, got twi one. name check twice now, see. So. I'm getting a nifty every time you say his name. Yeah. yeah. Who, Dave Clark? Yeah, 50. That's 150 oh, so far, he owes me. <laughs> really nice bloke. <coughs> just settle down just a little bit. And the well, Swanee sort of letting his chips do the talking. A couple ways, Woodley. What is, does he want to stay out of Ram's way as much as Ram wants to stay out of his? He definitely doesn't want to double Ram up. I think that his policy here will probably be to call. He knows that also Ram's capable of raising without a hand. Or at least a hand that can't stand a re-raise. Mm. He does have position. I think he'll peel off a flop here. Try and hit something. I wonder if folding might be an option. Oh, cool. Cool. Definitely cool. not without strong holding there. 530,000 in chips. Jack-10 suited. So He'd have to get those chips off me with an iron bar. <laughs> those cards. What? Didn't need to put a gun to your head. Even then, even then you'd want to see if you could... <laughs> you'd want to know what the flop was. <laughs> I don't know if you could rabbit hunt. If you're willing to fold, but just let me look. <laughs> and uh, top pair for Woodley, bottom pair for Vaswani. And this, 14, this is the danger zone right now for Ram. It is. He's, he's made a good size bet on the flop, which means he can't get away from it if anything untowards happens. And Roland, the reason he made sort of what you call a good size bet is because he doesn't want Woodley. He wants to know that if Woodley calls, it means he has something. Yes. And you can also sense, I mean, Woodley's demeanor, how he raises, how he calls, the strength in the pot. Ram frozen like a statue and staring ahead, but presumably he's feeling. If I was Ian Woodley, I would raise her. 
44 total. Exactly what's happened. And, uh, is Rand getting cold if he moves all in? He's, he's being cold if he moves all in. He can afford it. Ram's not going to be able to damage him. Are there any things that Woodley could be raising with that uh, Ram has beat? Yes. Not really, says Ram. And he's right. Escape for the crazy horse. Back to the trough. We better should never run up with me. We're getting a part of the James Bond film you carry on Sunday. Just say no way out. Another <laughs> What did he say? The rich get richer now. Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> oh, He'd be on top of the Alps, wouldn't he? <laughs> been thrown off, I reckon. <laughs> How ain't I been picked up already? It's a joke, isn't it? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not Woodley. <laughs> I'll tell you, seriously, I mean, Ian Woodley is, I think, Can't the most exciting time. player in European poker since George yeah. Geary retired. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know George McKeever, do you? <laughs> George, the galloping yeah. greyhound Plus. Geary. Oh, George McKeever, yeah. Cool. <laughs> So an article by Patrick in one of the magazines saying that uh, he's unsure sometimes if Ian Woodley's awake or asleep when he plays poker. <laughs> he's a fair player. Nice. He's made a lot of TV finals, uh, an Irish Open second, and uh, a number of uh, events in the UK where he's done particularly mm. well. I think he's looking for a sponsor, Jesse. Do you, do you fancy it? Maybe Frigidaire. <laughs> or Electrolux. Certainly get you a lot of TV time, and here he's dominating. And I have to say, it's been very impressive, oh. man, from Cox the semi-final so, three. Oh, he's, I mean, you, you, by watching Woodley play today, okay. <coughs> weeks in this tournament, you would never say that uh, he's got Checks his it. chips through cards alone. This this was blind on blind, 15, and Cox got aggressive from the big blind. Fraser peeled off a 10,000 raised flop with the 5-7, and... Uh, I'm guessing, Roland, that you can't really peel off a flop with Fraser's hand unless you're prepared, perhaps, to bluff it if you miss. Well, 7-5 seated, you can actually collect, connect with a couple of flops, so he could he could be looking to hit something and break a big hand. If he puts uh, Ian Cox on two high cards, you may think that the 7 and the 5 are, are good in themselves. Really? But Ian, Ke Ian Fraser is definitely capable of bluffing at this point. Plus. Again, but they were being quite cagey at the start of the final in terms of their bluffs, apart from uh, Ian Woodley, who's been moving his stack around <sighs> fantastically. I don't think Woodley's taken a backward step yet tonight, but Crapper, Ian Cox, have taken a huge leap behind himself, and now uh, a little bit, a little bit back. He's ODCBT, and do you guys say that ODCBT on the comeback trail? Apparently not. <laughs> Just an American phrase, well. is it? <laughs> not a British phrase. He may be back in the crapper. <laughs> <laughs> this carries on much longer. This phrase doesn't look like he likes this spot. Try again. Cool. He's wow, what did he pick up? He's limped here and Cox has a huge hand. And you know what? The limp actually becomes more dangerous right. for Ian Fraser yes. because now he has to put more chips in to find out where he was. I see what you're saying. I mean, Cox is going to make a raise here that he's nearly going to have to peel off the flop with and then uh, the pot's going to be bigger. Whereas if he had raised, he would have just folded to the re-raise. Exactly. Yes. Especially after the history of the last hand. This is where limping can sometimes be a bad idea. In this spot, I would have liked to see him phrase a limit raise. You have a chance of taking the pot, while at the same time you gather more information that you don't get with a limp. I mean, the range of hands that Ian Cox is raising with here is pretty wide. In Ian Fraser's mind, at least. Well said, and especially if he puts Cox on a, being a bit of a steamer right now, it could almost be any ace.
good news for Fraser is that uh, he does have an overcard to this pair. Bad news for him, as you said, is that... Uh, Fraser picks up a big draw here. We, we can see some fireworks. But now it's going to be interesting. Thousand. Very quick bet from Cox. Fraser really doesn't like his hand now. It's funny what you said, Rowan. The 12,000 that Fraser just put in before the flop, if he had invested that. Three rounds, 20. Has he raised Ian Fraser? He has. He's raised Ian Cox 20,000 more. 40 total. But, but Roland. Isn't it very difficult for Cox to put Fraser on an ace? What kind of hand would he call a re-raise with an ace in? Would he be doing it with ace-queen? Possibly. Ace-king? Probably not. He'd probably feel ace-king was good enough to go with. And Ian Cox could take a position that Fraser must have a draw. It does look like it because you would think that it's either ace-jack or ace-queen and he's got two jacks in his hand. If he can put ace -queen, Fraser on an exact ace-queen, he may buy this, but otherwise it's very difficult. Having said that, the two jacks shrink immediately when the ace comes down and you get re-raised after betting out a flop. Just feel like Fraser would have raised with an ace. I don't, I, I could be wrong. Ian's gonna really have to try and back his judgment and, and he has to be willing to go out of the tournament. <clears throat> Looks like he's gonna fold him. He's gonna show him and fold him and Fraser takes it. What a move at this time, Roland. Why? Mm. Ian Fraser felt that Ian Cox was on a steamer. He didn't have much, and he didn't fancy leaving behind the money that he'd invested pre-flop. would have been home. He felt like he was being pushed old. around. What a fantastic Jack move there. You've got to give Ian Fraser out, credit. That is a lot of, you need a lot of nerve. <coughs> to do and uh, there again, Roland, uh, we've seen it a couple times in this tournament. Person playing a hand Fraser was 173,000. A person playing a hand in a way that seems like a, a negative equity play, and because of it, they've they've turned a corker in. Well, Ian Fraser had just enough chips to be able to make the play, and the 20,000 sure. wasn't Plus. killing his stack yeah, well, with a high reward on reward way, ratio. So fantastic play there, Ian Fraser. Did I really yeah. didn't yeah. enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it's just <laughs> the kind of thing where there's, <laughs> at the table, there's so many different currents going on that even we can see. It just shows exactly as well how, how far Ian Fraser's game has developed in these formats. He really is a very good player. He really is. Yeah, really is. Where did he pick up those chips anyway? Of that was a <laughs> massive, yes. massive raise. Didn't fancy flop there, <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> if he flops too fair, I'm going to raise though. You know what was in the bar. <laughs> well, I'm letting you know I'm not going to pass through a re-raise, am I? That's all. Two <laughs> How, How good is Ian Woodley? What re -run. is in his re nose? Yeah, you yeah. Might not Can I raise you 6,000? <laughs> you might not believe it. I'm going to dodge the second <laughs> question. Can I raise 6,000? Get two more bottles of water. The first oh, question is, totally it remains to be there. seen. This is his, perhaps his defining moment in the game, game so far. He's oh. sitting there like a lump of wood. Lump of wood, Lee. You've been doing the viewing figures a lot of good, haven't you? <laughs> I'm going to let him play you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Roland. We're still in really the first level of this final table. I'm a slow starter. And I just wonder if there's been so much play, because obviously these guys are all players they've had to win to get here, or if it's because this is almost like they've all built their relationships up through the semi-finals. <coughs> and it's sort of a continuation of that. Yeah, just raise I think it's a combination of both. Of the, the, the blinds are a little bit raise. smaller than they were in the semi-final. When you think back to that move to Ian Cox, Jesus, it was No need for that, Dave, is it? I'm Tvalli, though. He done me a good deal at Luton, the boy. Going on time to go. Come on in. Oh, no, call, wow! No, you got nothing here. Woodley raised, no, Rudley re Rudling relays. <laughs> Woodley raised and Rudling re raised all in. Simon says there's pickles in the barrel, but uh, there's not that much in it here, Roland. No, and Rudling's picked a spot where 
Woodley was committed. Oh, I, I, I'd rather he'd put it in no. with the ace jack. He's going to miss. He, he has got his chips in slightly in front. In case he flops, he'll, he'll feel Should good about things now. Come on, He's back in it if he can. Oh, just missed it. Yeah, yeah, avoid the king or the jack. 136,000 in the pot. Little pair, little seven. Nine, ten. I need a bit of room at the time. Rebling won't be that far from average chips. Seventy percent. Oh, ten. Only a ten now. Mm. Well, anyone pass a ten? We saw Ian thing. Fraser pass one, but there's still three left. He can't do it. We'll just. It's he wouldn't even want to do it. Oh, oh man! Now, yeah. That's hideous. Oh. Never say never, Roland. Well, Don't yeah. tempt the well, fates. Sorry, Tough cheers, man, guys. put your own shoulder to the wheel, David. Rod Link, out in sixth. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Ian Woodley. Even when he looks like luck, he can't win the pot, <laughs> the cards come run a run a miracle. How golden is his halo, Ian Woodley? The 10 on the river, knocking out Rod Link, who had the aces, but the Broadway straight. I was, a, like you say, a slight favorite going in, and um, I looked a very hot favorite when, when the ace came down on the turn, and. Um, that, that's Poe from a freight. The final has already delivered some great hands and our top players are eyeing up that championship crown. More action after the break. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. This is one of the most exciting tournaments we've ever seen. Can Ian Woodley, who is dominating the table, be overthrown? Let's get back to the action. How big are Ian Woodley's mitts? There have been 21 pots played on this final table. Woodley's one over half. And uh, Pass. the blinds now up to three and six thousand. Not really Pass. a monumental raise here, as far as the stakes go. Finally, a hand for the crazy horse. Cool. The <coughs> and he's limped on the butt. Cool. Is that dangerous? It is dangerous. Squeeze it up. So How dangerous? Up. Well, I think Ram's good enough to get away for certain hands. No raise. No raise. And uh, what what is the idea behind it? This is the only way he's going to be able to play some kind of big part. I think so. He's also discovered that. Ian Woodley has a penchant for putting in a large amount of chips. Five, with on check so. average hands check, check. Yeah. Check. Hardy's flopped a flush draw here, and uh, I wonder if the fact that um, there is a pair on board there, as Ram is going to say, well, I'm not going to make this pot big, but if someone else does, maybe they're bluffing. He will. He will value better at certain points when he believes his two pair were good. And he's sure that no one has the queen. Check. Big draws out there now. Sure are. Check. 10,000. What kind of bet is that? Cold. This is very dangerous. You have to be a very good poker player to, to, to be mixing around in this pot. And Hardy folding the flush draw like it was nothing. Maybe it wasn't. Odd fold, though. He's not going to win a big pot. He doesn't have the position. And the board's paired already. I don't hate the fold there. Careful, then. Woodley has nothing. Does he want to try and bluff Ram? Or does he put Vaswani on here? That's not a big bet. I have to go back for a little more than that. 22,000. Oh. And uh, <laughs> it seems like Rams played that hand very well to sort of get the maximum out of it, Roller. I think Ram played that hand excellently. He played it like I, I would have hoped to have played it myself. I mean, you had when you limped the other day. Yeah, I thought that. You weren't from there, Rays, weren't you, yeah. Ram? Pretty flop, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing short the of gorgeous from the crazy the horse. Boogie, man. You're after the book. Or perhaps no, it's it's just a bit of wiggle. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that 50,000 that Ram won, instead of the 9,000 that were in the blinds roll, could have been the most active by limping. Could have raised on the past. What was. You're a big blind there, It's tough to play that a pot like that, isn't it? It is. You need to have very good feel for where you are in the hand, and Ram had it there. It helps to have aces. 
But he made he kept the pot small with a big hand. Oh, flash draw, yeah. I like that. A lot of people well, yeah. I'll be, I'll be the up and people down feel the turn, need to make the pot big regardless. Yeah, they do. They often just don't look at the board. They don't think that someone can have chip queens or straight and just think. This year with so many chips. I mean, I've seen aces at the end raise in that spot. Sort of like that old Aesop's fable. Don't take too much at once. Accept your lot in life. Raised to 18,000. Don't listen to the word he says. Ian, I don't listen to the word he says. Goes in one ear and out the other, mate. I've been playing with him a long time. That's what Ian's been doing. He's called me a liar. He's trying to stop the stuff going from out the other side of his ear. Did that pot hurt Woodley? He lost that pot to Rami. You can see Woodley's stack still monumental. I don't think it really did hurt him in this, uh, psychologically a little bit, maybe, but he really has enough to chips to comfort him if he feels. <laughs> you can use them as a blanket. More chips than I started with. It's, it's wonderful nice. to have enough chips that you can use them as a blanket. Pass. Pass. feels Roland it feels like even though obviously Woodley has such a monumental chip lead, oh. it feels like that there's a lot of time right now for for good play to be rewarded that's what we've been seeing it does we have more play in this final than Raise. we've seen in our heats 21,000 total and that suits a, a, a big stack player like Ian Woodley and good players like Fraser and Viswan nice. and uh <coughs> Fraser limping in from the button. I feel like, I mean, excuse me, Hardy limping in from the button. Is Fraser challenging him here, or is this more about information? I think it's not because he limped. It's. I think it's exactly because he limped. Exactly the opposite of what I'm not so he sure. says. How much more? Fifteen thousand. He knows that Anthony Hardy is is weak in this spot. He plays ABC Hardy, and, and if he limps on the button, it's generally because he doesn't have a big hand. Do you think it's a bit like Pass. monkey see, monkey do? Hardy saw Ram limp with aces <laughs> on the button two hands ago. Hardy thought, well, if I limp on the button, everyone will think I have aces as well. <laughs> well I wouldn't call Anthony Hardy a monkey. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. No, it's a phrase. <laughs> Just a phrase. <laughs> I'm not the devil fish. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, we were just talking there, Roland, about how it, you can watch a player do something, but to imitate him is another story, because if your table image isn't the same, then it means something completely different, doesn't it? It does. People wouldn't want to play a pot with them this morning, whereas they may not be so keen to avoid. Raise to 95 <coughs> total. Pass. Okay. Pass. He's a solid player, Anthony Hardy. Hard to get chips out of. And um, He's played fantastic in this tournament. There's no accident he's here. Pass. No, I agree. He, he deserves to be here. He's had some good cards and played them well. <coughs> Woodley, standard, picks up the blinds with another ace king. Yeah. He hasn't really been short of cards either. Line's still three and six, but uh, I mean, as far as how do the other players? Pass. Pass. Button here for Cox. I mean, obviously, Pass. because of what happened that early hand, he virtually cannot make a button steal, can he? It's like his w now. It's his weakest spot on the table. Yeah, I think Cox is, is uh, impotent now on the button. Limpid, even. Raised to <laughs> 20,000 total. <coughs> it is hard. It's hard to get it. <laughs> this is uh, the first time that Ram Vaswani has tried a small blind, big blind move on Woodley. Woodley with the ace here. And, and, and Ian has been so aggressive here. Will he do it again? I mean, he'll be well aware that Ram's limped like seven times in a row. Okay, Ian, can you just... Oh, no. <laughs> this is a little painful, isn't it? Woodley, uh... Wow. Oh, surely he has to raise, doesn't he? I mean... I 
I mean, he's 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 right to think that Vaswani uh, could have something big here and, and and get action. The question for Ian really is: Does right. does Ram raise. have the stack where he can put in a raise more. and not commit Pass. himself? Well, Woodley obviously taking that down, but because it, what was important there was for Ian to give the chance for Ram to to do a stack, <coughs> to push all in. Jeff if Ram Jeff had a hand that he wanted to raise with like pocket eights, pocket nine, pocket tens, he's n he's not going to call if Should Ian goes all in, but he may he if Ian raises, think Ian's bullying and push. So that raise gave Ram the opportunity to hang himself. But he didn't have the hand to hang himself. Pass. What a rush of cards <laughs> for Ian Woodley. He he didn't, but. You're saying there were a lot more hands that Ram could have pushed there with that uh, if the flop had come Pass. scary, he would have not gotten a stack in. Yes, and also it gave him the opportunity to push in before the flop with a, with a hand that he did, wouldn't want to call all his chips off with. And here's Vaswani limping again from the button. Let's see if Woodley wants to swing his broadsword. Careful, the bookie's behind you, mate. That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I did ask for that. Some fun table talk between it is, the these guys. Got to love banter. Cool. Cool. That's good. <laughs> <coughs> he's, he's, you know, I think he's a little self-deprecating. No right. He's a bit no of fun, isn't he? He's, he's a bit like the Tom Cruise of poker. Tom Cruise sunglasses. And who hit the best hand on the floor? Jack. Woodley. <laughs> You'd think that there was almost a Jake. a need to get this Jake. finished as quickly as possible. Giving in Woodley all the chips and all the flops. It's, it's incredible. 8,000. Ram had a little bit of think about it now as bet. Now, as far as Woodley's concerned, the fact that there's three spades on board, does that make him want to call or raise? I would say raise. He's been raising Ram a lot. Maybe he'll try something different. Call. Pass. Ram's having a bit of a look Thank over there at Woodley. Hello, Must be getting frustrating for Ram to continually be in the spot where he has the, the worst hand. He's, he's got away a couple of times without putting chips in the pot, and other times he's given Ram something to Ian. Check. Queen Jack's a very tough hand to put in Woodley on if you're Ram right now, isn't it? Easier to put him on a spade? What is Ram thinking? Check. It's very difficult now to put Ian Woodley on a hand. Perhaps uh, Ram just made the decision that, uh, as you said, Check. he wants to play small Check. pot poker and that's good enough for yeah. him. Check. Check. Yeah. <laughs> Ram, not surprised. Maybe disappointed, but Ian once again had him beat. We are entering the graveyard of the second level here, and it's been all Woodley. who just keeps going top to top. In fact, he's letting these other guys live by nails and cobblestone. Jimmy White knocked him out, then he ends up. I wonder, Jesse, who the most happy is yeah, of the other players that Ian Woodley's yeah. taken such a big yeah. lead. I'm, I'm guessing it's the bookie right now, Roland, because... Yes. Pass. I, I think so too. He seems content. I mean, he, second place would be a good result for him. And um, Ram and Ian Fraser just seem desperate to win and don't seem impressed by what's been going on. I, I was just saying that based on on the on the body language. Uh, Pass. But uh, Fraser's picked up the two tens, and Ram could trip over himself here in the big blind. All in. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> Razor's got him out chip by about 50,000. Is, is this the end for Vaswani? Well, I think the, the chips are going in. I, I can't see him, Fraser, doing anything else but calling him. Oh, cool. Cool. Wow. This. Only one player is coming out of this one alive. Fraser has 50,000 back, but uh, Vaswani all in. Rambo could be looking at fifth place in this tournament. The crazy horse, but he runs good in this situation. And we, we've, not, we've not seen anyone pass an ace, so they are there. The bullets are live here tonight. 
And Ram has ridden here. Oh my! <laughs> He's flopped the joint. Unbelievable. Oh my. Mr. Vaswani. <laughs> Boy, so Fraser a little unlucky. Now it's Ian Fraser who wants the aces. Yeah. They're still there, the aces. Yeah, for a split. Doesn't come on the flop. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ian Fraser, he's won the UK title, won the European, but here. Out duped by the king of the world, Ram Vaswani. And uh, Roland, that was... That was like a double gobble. Unbelievable there. And that's that's how Ram ran in his heat. I had a Yuha Helpy complaining to me about how how he couldn't beat him heads up and how Ram was all in with the worst hand. But you know, this man he's <coughs> walks on water. Wow. We have a game on. The flop was stunning. I mean, everybody was speechless. It wasn't the ace, it was the king queen, Jack the straight for Ram Vaswani, the joint, as they say on the flop has just duped Ian Fraser down to a short staff. And uh, Ian, who has played so well at these no final tables, uh, Roland, yeah, Ian could still there was no way he was getting out of that yeah, Fraser. Yeah. Rather than bold no, he did everything course. right there, and it's just unfortunate. Yeah. Sometimes you do everything right in poker, you play yeah. the situation right, you read it right, but the cards Sick don't. Game. The allow you to win the hand, yeah. and that's exactly what happened yeah. to Ian. It's, it's unfortunate there. You, you got up against the crazy horse and sometimes Pass. it's maddening. Ian will be feeling like Ram tried to give him his chips. And Pass. they got given back. And for Vaswani, as we saw in his heat, Roland, Don't he knows yet. how to just look ahead from these <laughs> little things. He <laughs> uses these moments of fortune to his advantage, doesn't he? He does, and I don't think Ian Woodley will be particularly enamored that Ram's just become a huge ever give anyone a walk, ever? threat relative to all the other players. He's probably the one player he didn't want to see pushing the 200 mark. Yeah. Graham's limped no in bunches at times here. This is the first time with an ace. He may have been ready for Woodley then. He may be waiting for him now. That is Woodley with the better pair here. The Ducks. 6,000 called. Batten Crawl. Check. There's 24,000 out there, and basically both these players have nada. But Woodley with the deuces. 12,000 pass. And the straight draw. But every time he's been out flop there, Ram. Well, yeah. Ram's feeling pretty good about things now. You wouldn't know what to look at his face. He's He's a tough man to read, isn't he? He is. And he's a very laid-back character. <laughs> he might not always be smiling on the TV, but he's pretty smiling off the table a lot, yeah, almost all the time. He is. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's been... Oh, oh dear, oh, dear. Let's put the glasses back on for a little while, see if they bring me any luck. Ian like Fraser, is it... He's, he's obviously... Uh, the first thing that went through his head was, well, I think, inside. Roland, all in. And the second thing was, I hate pocket fives. <laughs> it is green white. Yes. But what should he do? <laughs> do, do, you, do you like the play that he's going to have to get in there a little bit? Well, he, I don't think he can pass up this opportunity pass. With, a, with a pair. Pass. And is he implied in for the rest of his chips? He's only got about 30,000 back. He is, he is. There's um, going to be a lot more in the pot than he's going to need to call. Perhaps that's what Wooders is thinking. I could knock this guy out. What are the dynamics here? I think he might just fold. He may well do. He's in such a comfortable position. He doesn't need to be gambling. And it is gambling. He's gambling without fold equity as well. Cool. And I'll tell you one thing. Ian Woodley, Ian Fraser will not like a call there. Really will put the wind up. Hardy in a similar spot. It's actually cheaper to call. He's got better pot odds. Pass. But a worse hand. And uh, if Woodley hits this flop, is it better check? I think he's going to check. I think he's going to let Ian Fraser commit. Wow. 
That's great news for Ian Fraser. Woodley does not have him beat, but has plenty enough to get it in. This could be the comeback for the Fraser kid, but it's a huge draw for Wooders. It's an unbelievable flop, really. Ian, Ian Fraser's hit his perfect card, the five. And Ian Woodley's huge as well. And uh, Hardy would have had a chance to go broke himself yeah, if he had called. He would. <laughs> oh, the clubs. There's a lot of clubs in past. But still. And there's a queen for the straight. Queen yeah. of clubs. Well, <laughs> Fraser wants the board to pair straight away. He is all in. And even... Get me both ones. Queen of clubs would work. Queen of clubs would be a royal flush. Top of the tree. Get me both ones. And good night for Ian Fraser. Well, no. But... The moment. Still, Ian Fraser. Can he hang in there? Any queen, any club. Save the ten of clubs, and Fraser and a Woodley will knock out Fraser. Who's saying just pair the board quickly? Oh, oh. sorry. Unlucky. Hold on, boys. Unlucky, Unlucky twice here tonight, Unlucky. Roland. Unlucky. It really is Ian Woodley's day, but you've got a feel for Ian Fraser. The Razor Ian Fraser out in fifth. A true champion. He could not make the world title there. 3 5. You need more than that. That's what makes the game so good, I suppose. I mean, um, that was brutal what happened to me the last couple of rounds. There you go. Ram in the big blind for 10,000. Circling are the buzzards. Buzz, buzz, buzz. 30 to play. Price to 30,000 total. And Cox moved in the same spot with ace nine and ran into ace king, oh, about two rounds ago. All in. All in. Hasn't taken How away. Much? His appetite for the gamble. He's in good shape now. It's a, it's a flip. It's a better spot than he was in before. Not much more. Being that Hardy saw Cox having the ace nine before, he's. Uh, yeah, he's got the white odds and being a cross game play. Uh -huh. He knows the odds. Ian, you're so good at reading me. Oh, you got a pen. Okay. Cool. Pen. Another he's race for Ian Cox's three. life. He's had three of them already. He's, he's, he's becoming a real veteran of these yeah, wars, isn't he? Yeah. He is. He's a, the time to gamble. He's a survivor of uh, yeah, the first and second it. race conflict. We're lucky with sevens. Split pot only one percent here. For a, for a trip no, to the a king or queen. Diamond man. flush yeah, on the board, right. perhaps. Seven, not three good. clubs, no good. Yeah. Three clubs to do. Stefan. Two clubs in the yeah. king or two clubs in the queen. That's not so good. That is not so good. Oh, yeah. And uh, Ian Cox, again in the unfortunate position of having to sweat for the 52 tickets. Oh, that's better. It's getting pretty Stefan. good at it, I have to admit. Surely let me double this Indeed, one. they just uh, let Charlie back into the chocolate factory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does practice make good. perfect with this sort of thing, Roll? If you do enough Seven of these diamonds. and you... Uh, and, uh, it won't be a club or art. Get okay, better at them. Thank you. Unlucky boogie. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Well done, eh? Thanks. Itself, I think Ian's, yeah, Ian was pleased to see the king on the turn. On that, the My exactly. expert analysis. <laughs> he was. And uh, the bookie, who had worked very hard to get himself a little bit of scratch, has now doubled up the short stack. Yeah. As he said, yeah, yeah, there's no awesome. fault of his own. It's pretty so wide open now, isn't it? More among the bottom of the run. There seems to be a, a table consensus with a... Hardy and Woodley, it's every hand, they have to, have to go through the hand and talk about it and, and why they did that and Plus. how they played it. Ram isn't getting involved in that. <laughs> no, Ram's the only, the only one at the table who, who uh, is showing no inclination to switch places with us. It's a 30,000 total. Ram is uh, the, one of the poker players Plus. who I almost says uh, loathes talking what about poker. He, he likes talking about yeah. poker less than anyone I've ever met, either within or without poker. A, a huge overraise from Ian Woodley here. Oh, cool. Roland. Oh, oh no. It, oh, I, I thought there was Anthony Hardy yeah. behind him. Excuse me. Cox is called. This is. 
Personally, no. Cox put 30,000 in the pot and called for 130. He did. I mean, he was just thinking he's not going to get away from it. I think that was a wash of blood. Time. Put me an ace down. Well, wow. He's showing some inexperience here, Ian Cox, by calling off the chips with the ace seven. Do, 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 do you think perhaps he didn't realize how much money he had? Ace four, eight, I don't know, because he was a very, very quick call. Did, did Woodley eight, four, lure him in? I'm stunned. Thank you. The turn has been so kind to, to Ian Cox. And now there's only one card in the deck for Woodley. I like in him sevens, don't I? Hmm. <coughs> unlucky, Ian. Oh, man. That's unlucky. Ian breaks sevens. Man. Well, Cox has gotten but, into know, this on the back of the, uh, the on the the races. Bottom, I just think, yeah, mm. thinking on raising, you know, just because I've got a few chips putting pressure He's on He's tied them. two from behind, one one from an even start, and then that one, he took the tortoise and stepped on him. Well, actually, keep out the crossfire, he, you remember? His record's even better than that, keep because the his first one was ace nine against ace king, <laughs> which he managed to tie. He's never actually been in front yet. You're staying in the bunkers, we're trying to do all the killing. I really don't like his play there. I think Ian Cox made a huge, huge mistake. Calling off his chips with A7. Ian Woodley cannot have a lower ace in that spot. This is the first time the smile has been wiped from Woodley's face. He thought I was going out, now I've got a few chips. He's getting all defensive over there. I've got six less than one start. So long the dominant man at this table has taken a few knocks below the half million mark. Cox making the moves. That's enough. Yeah, of course. What Ian's done with bloody. How I many do you have? 30? Forward. Uh, 50 on at one stage, about 50. Woodley's well, a different 60. man. He looks Fe older. Maybe His shoulders are hunched. Hey? No, I didn't. We split the pot. No, he chopped. split the pot. Right? No, I chopped with him. Two chops on the pot. I had a better hand than him. Yeah. All right, pair of sevens. What did you have there? King Queen. This is a race with you. The last hand of the level. Funny old pair of sevens, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Because you can turn over eights and nines or tens and strangle it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I draw all in, you don't really bother. Yeah. Vaswani, why did he choose not to raise there? Did he picked something up. He's trying to trap uh, Cox. If Cox doesn't put him on an ace, he feels he can take the pot anyway. It's a perfect flop check. for that story. Should Ram better check? Check. He's definitely trapping it. Yeah. Top pet. A gut shot straight jaw. There's now three clubs on board. And uh, Cox does have the ten of clubs. Fifteen thousand. After that play with the A7, I think he. Right. I was just going to say he, he's he's a he's a little off his nut, isn't he? I think he is. This is a very strange play here from Cox. Another thirty thousand more. And Ram may have seen it. He's play I think it had been slightly strange and he does have enough chips to, to peel one off here he's got the gut shot straight draw he doesn't have a, a club draw I, you're right and this is the kind of peel where he's risking losing for getting more chips on the river isn't it because an all-in would also um a, a, a re-raise would have also been a play <coughs> well it just it's just to see to be seen whether he's going to be following it through how deep is the reach. Can Vaswani find the call? If anyone can. 55,000. Ram can. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. 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 Well, uh, I mean, Roland, the, the beauty of that pot is that Ram has been waiting around 63 hands to play one like that. And by watching how Ian Cox has played this last level, it all just worked perfectly, didn't it? He played that pot so well, Jesse. When he said call, he insta-called there. He called instantly. He had been setting it up all along. That's why he called on the turn. He knew it was anything but a club and he was calling. And I know he's in second position right now, Roland, but is Ram nailed on? He's far from nailed on, but in the Gulf, when they see Tiger stalking the leaders, the leader feels a lot of pressure on his shoulders, and I imagine that's how Ian Woodley feels now with the crazy horse around the Swanee riding into his rear view mirror. Roland, if I'll Hardy plays his most off, aggressive Harry. game when he's starting to feel a bit under pressure, and certainly he'll feel and like that now. Pass. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Jesse, is that he will get a lot more respect than the other players may do if they start pushing him, because they know that Anthony's been playing a solid game. 
and he might be able to nick a few blinds, but it's just a question of can he find a strong enough right arm to do so. We know that Woodley's arm is raised to 42,000 total. Made of metal. 15 now, up to 42. Plus. And they're laying down like lambs on Broadway. One more in. You Ooh. raise all in. No, so. Oh, more. Well, that many. This is great news for Cox. He's liable to get called. He is. He's been shown to have, also have a very strong right hand. Has Cox and uh, Ian Woodley with an ace five might just think that the pot is net laying him enough now. You're behind. Too shame, one of me. I'm definitely behind this time. <coughs> Probably am. Yeah. That's 120,000. It's not two to one, but it ain't far off. He's getting some good odds here with the ace five. He's almost getting the odds he needs if he's up against queens, but he's not quite. The problem is, is he, if he's up against another ace. Ian's made every decision right today, apart from the haircut. Been a flawless day. No, go on, pass. Pass. Again, that's the right thing. Well pass your king queen. I mean, I was ahead with king queen. It's a bit worrying. <laughs> what? Well, this is the first time I ever seen a gangster suck a lollipop. <laughs> seven, man. Yeah. Is that what he puts on his uh, form as an occupation? If I tried a king with that instead of a coin, yeah. I wouldn't have passed. Really? You like king seven? Mm. That is a raising a hand, bit. but is, is wondered. It's time for Woodley to sort of tighten up a little bit. And, the game feels very open right now. It does, and you feel in an awkward spot Press. when you've had a lot of chips, and you know that the rest of the table is aware Race. that you've come down from a high. It's difficult, it's difficult to try and keep control of yourself while thousand maintaining thousand. a dominant image. When, when you think about how careful the chips were being Press. put in earlier in this final table, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. it's, uh, it's one gone one a bit one. loopy. 25,000 on Vaswani. And uh, first consideration is how big his stack oh. is. Second consideration is who he's up against. He thinks he can outplay Anthony Hardy on the flop. He's already done it a couple of times. He made Hardy put down nines. And uh, Hardy will fold. That's a nice flop for Rampo. Flush draw. All in. All in. <laughs> Come over the top of that, he says. Glasses, glasses, son. Glasses, glasses. <laughs> Hardy reached for his glasses, rolled and they weren't there. Hole. Where are they? <laughs> Perhaps an indication he doesn't know quite where he is. <laughs> it's hard. It's a lot of pressure Hardy's under. I mean, obviously he's going to fold. Rams beat him with a punch here. But uh, why the all-in on the flop? What's the reason? <coughs> Rams looking to take the impetus away. Pass. And... Uh, Make sure that if Anthony Hardy did have a pair, such as pair of sevens, pair of eights, he doesn't commit himself to the hand. If if Ram checks Anthony Hardy bets half his stack on the pot, then even if he feels he's behind, he's obliged to call for the pot odds. Ram took the decision away there. He did it. He did it well. It is now second in chips. 360,000, the most Vaswani has amassed any point in this tournament. And he's over average now and he's smiling. And one of the reasons is he didn't hear the word call. You know, when, off when you make that big over bet all in and you just yeah. hit call straight away, the, the guy turns over eights full and, and you're out the door, Pass. but it worked this time. I feel like more and more these days the over bet has a huge place in Pass. tournament. No limit hold'em. Game has gotten that aggressive. Cool. Every time. Ram's been in this spot. Okay. Like King 10. No race. King 9. <coughs> you know, Roland, I mean, Ram has done a lot of great plays today, but as much as he's tried to. Uh oh. Top pair for Ram and two pair for Woodley. This could be it. I, I just hope, for Ram's sake, that Ian Woodley slow plays this. This is one chance to get out of it. That's 15. This is a cold deck. Woodley could have Vaswani eaten to, for dinner here. 
But he won't want a slow play because the draw's out there, will he? No, I, I see a very, very difficult situation for Ram here. But Ian might be thinking, let's see if a safe card comes on the turn. Bottom two pairs very vulnerable, though. It does seem like for all the play in this tournament, these two have done well not to knock heads in a massive pot. They've sat together <coughs> all night long. This is the first chance for the crash. Raised. 50,000 more. That's all in, he's done. Cool. He all said it! He's cool. done! He's got a hit now! That's one, he's gonna be out of this tournament! 29% chance is all! And Roland is, is that just it? There's nothing really he can do there. It's a cold deck. Top two. Top pair against bottom two. But if anyone can produce a 29% shot, it has to be a seven, a king, or a ten, anything else. And we are three-way. Vaswani out in fourth. Board pairs the wrong way. Full house. Woodley, just unstoppable. And what a great game Ram Vaswani brought to the table. But the crazy horse has been reined in. That pot roll and uh, just looked like trouble there once the pot came down. You know, Jesse, it, it was amazing. Ram had just clawed his way back right to, to contention, and he just spun out on the corner there. He was he, he just caught up with the leader, Ian Woodley, and it was looking great for him. And um, it's, a, it's a bit of a cold deck to hit top pair against bottom two with a, a board with a lot of jaws. I'd like to have seen him take more time over the decision, but I think that was inevitable. We lost our crazy horse. I got into a pretty good situation in the end. I felt like I could play properly then. Um, but obviously the last part there was, you know, it was a bit of a setup really. There wasn't much I could do about it. There's no regrets. Well, Rowan, the chip pie now with Vaswani out. Woodley, oh, somewhere around three fourths of the chips in play. Looks good now for Ian Woodley. He got rid of his. Number one foe, and has now got a massive chip lead. That is the thing. Gamble a bit now. Put right. pressure on both of them. If you attack the guy who's who's second in chips, because he knows there's a fifty thousand dollar difference, he may not want to stand up to you. And now that the other guy's short, that's the key to playing the big stack here. Ian should be taking every pot that Pass. that no one else raises before him. Woodley having a think now. The raise seems logical. He must raise every hand. I'd raise every hand. I'm all in. Raised, all in. I'm up. Wow, and Hardy has found some guts. Let's this try. is really aces. good stuff by it. Anthony Hardy. Sure. Okay, one, one, He's found his courage aces, and said uh, he only wants Those first place. Like doesn't five. care about third. 118. 18. 18, yeah. He's Woodley thinking about calling this? I don't like it, this. You've got kings, you can shoot me. Wow! Yeah, Woodley's well, in terrible oh, shape. Well, this, is, this is going to go very topsy-turvy. Queens. Queen oh, hey, oh, hey. Queen's oh, hey, I had a bookie. He's <laughs> always in front. Oh, yeah. well, that was a surprising <laughs> call. Yeah, Queen's in here. It was, it was a... It was a Just hold up for play. me once, baby. Just for the bookie. I don't think Andy Hardin is going in with the less, the less than the Queen Jack. Bookie is all in, but uh, strong bookie, shape yeah. right now to double up to Great 266. Ian's really gambling, and he can afford to. He can afford to take a 4060, but this is not the sort of shape. He didn't want to be dominated. Oh, dear. Ooh. Ah. There's the 10 Jeez. and the jack and the clubs oh. and the yeah, straight draw. Tone, clubs. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if the wow, bookie had checked, the money would have gone in anyway, wouldn't it? The money goes in on this flop. And uh, a split pot out there. Of 11 percent between the others, it's very close. Wouldn't surprise me if Woodley to make a straight draw, cross. Yeah. He's massive now, Woodley. <laughs> the He's nine. 50, 50. Yeah, the nine of clubs is the bingo card. Well, that's a blank. Don't Damn worry. Go. If anyone can get there today, it's in Woodley. Woodley needs a ten or a club. The nine for the split, 
All the other cards are Anthony Hardy's. Ooh. And, uh, That's the bookie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, here we go. We have a game on. I believe he's happy. Let's gamble now. Seems like to have had. Deal. Let's gamble. gamble. All the pressure yeah. released. Yeah, but I'm happy with that because he's now got more Perhaps chips. Perhaps he made a deal with the devil. Eighty thousand. So. You know what I mean? And uh, is he going to be a force from here, Roland? Yeah, but it's financial. Do you mean uh, me. David? Yeah, the devil fish. Eighty thousand. He's got actually got more chips than me. Not many more, but. Will that have uh, rattled uh, Woodley? <laughs> Do you think Woodley is is a little bit unsure about how to proceed from here? Yeah, I mean, he had one free shot. Yeah, there. I know. I didn't see the Jack. Either of them up now. Went to Ian said about it. Everybody had a free shot there. Said about the Jack. Flop for me now. Hey? Oh, flop. I didn't like the flop, even though I was in front. Which of these three will be the next World Open champion? Pass. I'm all in. All in. <laughs> Hardy playing with I've set tremendous off. aplomb. This is 15,000 raised, 230. might run into a monster in a minute. It's a big raise. Yeah, this time. <laughs> He's only Pass. going to be called by a better hand, that's for sure, but... I suppose you're taking away some equity there with a, a hand. A case eight is not going to re-raise you all in. He's going to be raising up with that anyway. I'm not going to put that down on my... I don't know, I don't want your kicker with. I've got to look after myself here, and that's the thing, isn't it? I'm only losing, yeah. I'm only losing 20,000 anyway. You know? Oh yeah, nobody will notice. <laughs> <laughs> Cards out here. Book you on the button. Could be another roll in. What we've seen of him. Pass. Pass. We're on this. Um, 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 um. This game has gone very tippity, tippity. Do you think perhaps the shock of losing Ram Vaswani has just sort of I don't know, open the portholes a little bit, and uh, yeah, in, in a few rounds, everyone's going to just settle back down to playing poker. Yeah, it's, it's freed happen. everyone up a little bit um, because they know that the, the big threat <laughs> that the, the A star player on the table has gone out. And uh, as players in their own right, they now feel that they have a chance to win this thing. There's a, a lot of poker Raise. from Raise. here to the finish line. And I just get the feeling, Roland, that uh, cool heads will prevail. Yeah, rash decisions have not been beneficial to anyone today. 46,000 total, pass. Time to gamble again, Anthony. He's in trouble, isn't the bookie? Oh, he's passing you on. But um, <laughs> no, he has of late play. shown that strong over re-raise has been a wild Every pass. time Anthony Hardy has waited more than five seconds to put chips in, he's ended up folding. You pretty know much early on whether he's posturing or playing in the hand. I think he either takes a quick look in the mirror and, or, then, or, the, or else breaks it. <laughs> it's not true, buddy. Woodley on the button. I told you, I'll never count. Ooh. I still don't believe that. If you're looking I, right now... I still don't believe you don't know how many you got, Ralph. I haven't got a clue. With Leo, uh, that's on the button. Oh, no, you will need every chip. Don't change. Be between no, Cox true. and Hardy, I mean, that, that they're very jump. similar in chips. What's between them as far as play goes right miles now? Miles and miles and miles away. The, the difference really is that I think Cox Pass. has tried throughout the heat to try and win it, whereas Anthony Hardy has relied on cool. the cards. Cool. Do you want to trap me, Anthony, or are you just want to <laughs> they, they oh, you know the bookie. Let's play some poker. You know the bookie. The they, bookie they, mixes it up. They definitely have his number. <laughs> they seem to, don't they? But uh, he, you know, one thing about the bookie is whatever he lacks in finesse, he makes up in Check. doggedness. And uh, I think, you know, his strong sort of force of will has prevailed throughout this tournament for him. This is a little bit of it right here. 35,000. Take it away, my man. He's going to show it and show the bluff. Maybe you won't want to show the ace, but no. I don't mind showing the bluff. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the bookie. The bookie doesn't take a bet. 
on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the odds are massively wrong. <laughs> If you're betting with him, it's probably because he's giving you credit. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be with William Hill. Uh, otherwise, I'd be with Party Bets. Pass. <laughs> blind on blind. Cox. And the Woodley. And you'd have to play those, but how? Cool. Perhaps a little peekaboo. God, Ian Woodley must be feeling good right now. So the King Ten he could do, then uh, do a few things with his King Ten hand. It's almost a trapping hand when you're calling. Raise fifty thousand more. One thing about Ian Cox is I feel like the re-raise all in play has a little bit been taken Pass. away from him as far as making a move because. He's been getting called lately. Woodley has shown a propensity to, to, to have his number, hasn't he? It seems like that, Jesse. I, I, I wonder what moves are available to Ian Cox at the moment, because he does have a sort of stack where he can still hurt the other two players. He's, he's really been up against it image-wise tonight. I mean, um, really, Woodley made him half a man somewhere around the first round of the table, and Cox has been Pass. trying to repair that damage ever since. And then Ram Vasvani uh, really did make a meal. Yeah. Cox. To be fair, Woodley's had everybody's number throughout this entire tournament. He has it. He has played excellently. Can't doubt that. A good performance from the Englishman. Right, to 42, He's led from start to finish. You know, I th I think now that those first two or three hands when these guys got three-handed were just sort of jumping jacks. They were just fireworks. That was just antsy-pantsy stuff. And now... Posturing. Yeah, the poker game has broken out, hasn't it? It has. And, uh, while the antsies are still only 7, 14, 7, 15, there's still, there's still play to be made. I mean... 10, 15, 20 times the big blind, or 10,000 if you're in Woodley. There's a lot of play. He has, has a lot of chips. I'd like to see him being more aggressive than he is. What those first few hands nice. might have done, though, Jesse, is actually taken away something from Ian Woodley. Oh, taken right. away the ability right. to raise when he sees the guys pushing and willingness to, to sacrifice themselves. Cox is bent more. down at a low angle watching Hardy put the chips in. And now when he sees this card... All in. All in. Wow, he saw something. He saw something that made him think that Hardy wasn't that strong. A call. Cool. It's a good call there from the bookie. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry? I don't cool. think he is. No. <coughs> oh, yeah, you're in front, Tom. I got a lot. Yeah, but you're still in front. Make no, 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 oh, no, no. fucking hell. Cool. <laughs> How much? 73. And the determining factor there, I mean, I just wonder, Roland, did Hardy feel like he put too many chips in the pot to leave behind, or uh, did he, he just... Oh, he limped. Did, it, did he limp or No, no, he raised, and, and Cox re-raised all in. But uh, Hardy actually covers Ian Cox, so it is Cox all in and really thin. He just didn't, he just didn't think that Ian Cox was that, was that, uh, was that strong? And he Cox was right. He took a read on Ian Cox, and that was good. Yeah. But then, didn't he, yeah. strangely, he <coughs> said he thought he was behind <coughs> when he made the call. Yeah. It's very, very strange happening. But the four is Cox's. Cox do it again. I don't not know. Not looking so good now. A uh, a ten would be a split pot. And a queen. Queen for a split. Ten. Oh no, split. no, no. Queen, no, it, the, yeah. I think the ten for ten, the split. Queen, no, queen's not. Roland and the, the four is yeah. Cox's ten best card. Yeah, ten for a split. Yeah, yeah. Ten. Four, I'm misreading four, the board like the players. Ten or four, <laughs> Don't worry, it's only the highest level that we have in the. A six as well would work oh, out. Four, a six, a yeah. ten, or four. Ian trying to roll this in, but Hardy looking to go head up against Ian Woodley here. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll play this. We'll play this. Got this. We'll play this. He kept plugging away, rode his luck a couple of times, and he'll be pleased to come third.
he was very, very low and he fought away pretty well. So good result there for Ian Cox. Yeah. I think we'll be back. Big organ in the chest for Ian Cox and he, a third place finisher. The blinds had got so high and my stack was getting shorter and shorter. So I knew I had to take a couple of gambles and uh, they did pay off. I doubled up a couple of times and I got myself back in it. And I uh, managed to last long enough for a couple of other people to go out as well, which was nice. Moved me up the uh, money tree, so to speak. The PartyPoker.net World oh, Open 3 down to just second. two players. Oh, sorry. <laughs> play and roll in for $200,000 yeah, um, and the chance to have oh, your face on yeah. every <laughs> shop in Manila. Good luck, son. Stand out. <laughs> well, Good luck, Mr. Wood. Good luck, I wonder if it'll be for winning this or just with the big wanted sign. <laughs> 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 yeah, but these are two guys who deserve to be here. And when you look at the head-to-head -head stats, really different routes to this juncture. Ian Woodley has barred through the front door. He's steamrolled with this tournament. He's led right from the front. And Anthony Hardy has snuck in through the back door. He's a latchkey kid. But he's in the house. 10 and 20,000. Uh, obviously, the blind's going up every 21 hands. So at some point, the confrontations become ever so more likely. Yeah, the blinds just become far more important. It's at this first stage when of the blind starting to increase that inwardly has his most advantage. It's raised to 55,000 total. Woodley back on the attack. Uh, 20 plus 35. That one's good. That's even better. Actually, in this particular instance, the same is the best. Indeed. And the 35,000 right. raise. Oh, he's in that's re raise. Well, 35 score. 35 more, yeah. I raise. 35 yeah. score, yeah. Raise. I don't think Hardy's going to get on here, but he can understand why he re raises here, Roland. Because if Ian Woodley has a slightly worse hand, Jacks, Queens. More. They're going to get all the money in without scare cards coming on the floor. No, got left it's also building a big pot Sorry. with a good hand. Um, chip cut. There's a tremendous amount of hands that. Uh, well, they would be willing to get all the money in. I mean, Hardy has one of the top two Just hands out of 229, right? I mean, if if, uh, if Woody has ace-king, this would be a, a very good time to ace. Holding two of the kings two. and the aces beat, this 55. would be the time when you want to get the money in, not on a low floor. Yeah, of course I do. I want to oh, check right. out. No, I'm just asking. 265. <laughs> 275. I just want to know what kind of chance I have that you might call me. Guessing this comes under the heading of no intention for Woodley, but what's the hundred raise in it? Ian Woodley knows Anthony Hot just calls her with ace queen, ace jack, pocket nines, pocket tens. He knows that Anthony Hardy must have a big hand. He's just posturing. So many times you say they're just posturing, and then you see the chips flying into the middle of the table. People standing up and shaking hands. <laughs> it's true, Roland. Sometimes you can get some funny things in your head, can't you, when you're sitting down there? And uh, perhaps Woodley thinks Hardy is having it on with him. Well, he may only have 5 4, but it doesn't matter if he thinks Hardy will fold to an all in. This is the first time this much money has been in the pot, head up. Hardy's eyes are moving back and forth. Plus. On the balance, what do you think that was about? Just posturing. It was, sometimes you do that to say, I had a genuine hand when I'm raising. Other times you say, I'm not gonna be pushed around. Sometimes he's just taking a read and taking a feel or making his opponent sweat. to play. Raised to 40,000 total. One thing that is great is you can feel the desire just sort of pouring off this table roll and both these players want this bad. They do. They both would love to get on them off the mark as far as winning a, a big poker tournament is concerned. And this party poker 
world open three would fit the bill. Woodley looks inclined to peel off a flop. Sorry, no. And it's Sorry, an interesting no. hand he's Sorry. chosen to do it with. Because as you've pointed out so often, Roland, uh, King Four, a hard hand to find a good flop with. Maybe he's going to bet any flop. Woodley is ahead, but that ace sort of looms ominously like a stormy day. I'd really like to see him Woodley betting the flop here, asking the question. You'll get the answer as well. Bet the flop and you'll get the answer you're looking for. 30,000. Is Woodley capable of playing an ace like oh. this? Oh, oh Hardy's uh, call with that. The only thing Hardy can be calling for really here, Roland, is that he thinks he can steal this pot away later. He does. That changes nothing. Woodley's first instinct to bet. Now he's having This is a very, bet. very interesting street. Hardy being handed the rope. He's grabbing it. He's placed it around his neck. I don't know if Woodley's checking to call or checking to fold. Hardy's played this very strong. He knows that this is the time to bet. It's 140,000 in there. And Hardy looks to take it. 80,000. You think Woodley might lay down here? I really think he might. No. And if he does, very well played Anthony Hardy. Wow. We've seen a new Anthony Hardy here. Very well played. The bookie, and that'll give him some confidence. Look at him. Water here. Calls with nothing to bluff later on. How much wind is going to be in his sails right now? I mean, he really is uh, playing as good as I've ever seen him. Welcome back. It's head to head at the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. <coughs> you do something different and start calling inwardly. Oh. All of a sudden, the blinds are. Oh, and. Bookie's doing <coughs> this. is Bookie's made this play a couple times. It's um, it's worked for him. It's not going to work for him now. Woodley's flopped two okay. pair. I wonder if this hand is strong enough that Woodley thinks he might want to take a card off. I think it is possibly strong enough. Top two is a massive hand. The danger, of course, Woodley's not to know okay. that if Hardy improves, he beats him. Exactly what Anthony Hardy was waiting for, Roland. Check. He's finally got his 40, muffin. 000. It's a cold deck for him, Woodley. Would you believe it? And this will open. Cool. Oh! It's just a chance. Just a chance that Ian Woodley can get off without doing, giving a double up here. If perhaps it comes a scare card a on the spade. river. It has, H H Hardy's hand is so strong that he's... Is he right to try and trap here? Would you like to see a raise? I mean, it's... There's a lot of scare cards there, Jesse. Preparing the board will change things. The spade may just save Ian Woodley. The 6-7 straight gets there too. Wow. Check. Check. I wonder if Hardy's intending to call now. Or <laughs> wow, oh, Ian Woodley. What happened? He's checked it on the river. That is unbelievable. Hardy had him bound and gagged. And... Oh, was Ian Woodley must feel like a man. What? Who's just... <laughs> he's just... 
He's, been, he's had his ha head in the hangman's noose. Yes. What, they, what, what was the what, what the thought process? I mean, what, what are the arguments for why Anthony Hardy had to raise on the turn there? Spite side me. I mean, if you look at that hand again, you can see two pair on the flop for Woodley. Flop he slow control. played, and then Hardy there. stopped up. A bit on the flop. Got bottom pair. It's unbelievable what happened there. It really is. That was Ian Woodley's chance to have doubled up. And Spite Hardy. And he got away. With, he got he away from it. His head was in the hangman's it. noose. And uh, someone's come along and chopped off the hangman's head. Anthony Hardy just gave him the free card. Like, I really can't believe on the turn. He did that. I, I understand his thinking. He wants to wants to get the maximum from his hand. Even so, well, how did Woodley find the check on the river? I do not know. He knows that Anthony Hardy likes to play his hand slow and right. could, could slow play right. the flush. Uh-oh. Hardy's limped in on the button with the ace, and this is Woodley cool. raising now. Cool. And uh, Roland, all of a sudden, this pot huge. For, has has Woodley lost patience, and has Hardy let him in? Anthony Hardy keeps check calling. Um, I understand what Ian Woodley's trying to do. He thinks that Anthony, uh, Hardy's weak, and Hardy is deceiving Woodley up to a point. Well, it's worked out for Anthony Hardy check. perfectly. Check. He is just sitting there waiting for Woodley to come into his spider web and give him money. And uh, it's going to be very hard for Woodley not to pay a little bit here to find out the ultimate price. I think that he knows Anthony Hardy has got a big hand because Anthony Hardy's limped and then called a 70,000 ways. Check. Hardy will wait for him all day long and even though what you say is true surely Woodley cannot let the opportunity go by to try and bluff at a 200,000 pot I don't know I think he thinks he's going to be caught by Anthony Hardy what could he possibly have <laughs> it's just fantastic way in Woodley the way he's played his pot he's on the absolute minimum If you look at these chips, blinds going up. Woodley there, if he loses that pot, he's actually behind. I, I just wonder if Hardy did not want to pay 65000 and perhaps be back where he started. Chips two and four, but it's two greens and four greens. I don't know if he'll decide to play these nines or not. Right. Right. Uh, party funking right. for Woodley to have something here. He does. But does he have 80000 worth? Mm -hmm. Not really. Woodley's got the kind of hand, unfortunately, oh. where if he hits, fortunately for him, he could be curtains. I'm all in. All in. I think Bucky's going to call. I mean, he'll feel Roland like he's up against two overcards in a race. But even so, he has to go, doesn't he? Oh, cool. cool. He does. And Woodley, 16%. Course, huh? He's got more I chips. But we, we could be looking at this as the time when Bookie takes oh, the, goodness, the, Christ, the title in his hands. He'll caress it. A lot of diamonds in, Gil. Woodley was thinking, Roland, that the worst case his cards would be live. They ain't, aren't they? That no, it's the worst hand he could be up against. I can't believe it. I put your ace hard card on. Nah. 980,000 in the pot. Ice, so. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that do me, girl. Oh, my! Bill and Ben. Bill Ten and of ben diamonds will be a diamond. straight flush. Oh, my gosh. A queen oh, will Jack. actually split it. Oh, no. That would be something else, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's all down to luck now. Yes. Full house! I know Only the Ten of diamonds Jack. now. Woodley's drawn yeah. to one card in the deck. <laughs> Actually, a jack splits it, doesn't it? This is odd. Hardy with a full house and Woodley drawn live. Case nine. Yes. But it's not to be. And you can see the emotion pouring over Anthony Hardy. Woodley is stunned and shocked. Did he just slip up, Roland? 
He's played such a perfect game today in Woodley and he just made one mistake and at the wrong time. And Anthony Hardy, is, he's played slow, but all his chickens have come home to roost. What a fitting hand for the crash. The money all in on the flop, but what a flop for Woodley, the straight flush draw. Hardy hit the full house on the turn and it was still live. But uh, the river missed Woodley wide and Hardy now within an inch of perfection. You can find out more on all things poker by logging onto our website, www.5.tv forward slash poker. Tepe Farm. Rosalyn. Rookie's got a hard look on his face. This could be it. How much is it? How much more? Yeah. 40. Is it an automatic call? Two. 240,000. He knows how to get off a hand. He does. He knows how to get off a hand. It's his thing. <laughs> it's his thing. <laughs> oh, cool. cool. Throughout this great tournament, the bookie has managed to get his chips in first, or not at all. But, uh, let that be a lesson to all you crazy callers. If Woodley pushes here, he'll get it through. No worries. But he's not to know that. I, I wonder if his read has deserted him a little bit. All of a sudden, he seems... Bookie must have given off a false tell in that two nines hand, and... Woodley is questioning his, his very existence. This is a stone cold bluff and Hardy has the best hand. It's very difficult to see Anthony Hardy calling. He won't, will he? No. Not if everything I've been led to believe this afternoon is true. So he puts Woodley on 6-4 and then he's still Still an underdog. 6-4 is probably an even, sh an even shot against 6-4. He could be slow playing a big hand. Plus. Not for all the tea in the Boston Harbor. Not for all the rice in the Genghis Valley. Not for all the alpha. Not for all the letters in the Sumerian alphabet. <laughs> From Carthage to Abyssinia and back again has come Ian Woodley. He's shipping it here. Farm. Oh! Cool. oh. oh. And Roland the Wolf, this feels like it could be Kong. the last hand of the World Open 3. Uh, Ian Willie has to hit a king. A king and a king only are the live cards here. Look, he only has to have queen's hold and he is the champion. He's come this far and only has to go that much farther. It's a good flop for him. What a performance. The bookie has beat them all. Just three cards in the deck now to sort it out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope we're done, Sam. Thanks. Thanks very much. Well done, man. Thank you. That last hand, Woodley pushed perhaps once too often. Hardy woke up. The ladies held up. Queens and sixes, his winning hand, and he won't forget those anytime too soon. Anthony Hardy, your champion.
high quality poker and a final heads up with all the twists and turns of a championship and the champion Anthony Hardy congratulations thank you Justin yeah. T tell me how you feel this must be a huge moment for um, you. I'm overwhelmed um, I didn't really celebrate because like Ian's my friend and like I'm just overwhelmed a tremendous amount of respect between you two guys yeah. uh, commiserations Ian Woodley but Truly, one of the finest tournament performances I think we've ever seen on tele television. Oh, cheers, thanks, Jesse. Cheers. What What was the key moment for you? How did you hold it together, Bookie, uh, during that heads up? Oh, I just sort of, I kept, I kept sort of saying to him, whenever there was a break, and that I said to him that you know, you know, I've got a good record heads up, Ian, and uh, he said, well, I've got a good record as well. I said, I know. <laughs> so I knew there wasn't going to be a lot in it. And I just thought if I could just keep hold of his shirt tails and then get an opportunity and. Yeah, I took me the opportunity, I got lucky, and that was it really, it's, you know. Well, I know the money means something, $200,000, but also I'd like to present to you this winner's bracelet from PartyPoker.net. And uh, it's a beautiful gold bracelet for the World Open champion. Thank you very much. That's beautiful, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the bookie, your champion. Congratulations to Anthony Hardy. What a tournament it's been. The bookie has overcome top players like the Devilfish, Roland DeWolf, Liz Liu, and of course, the fierce oncoming charge of Ian Woodley. But in the end, he was the PartyPoker.net World Open 3 champion. See you next time at the tables.